in the midnight hour. One host with the most dares to dream bigger, better, saucier. When you hear the Raz, it's time for Smaz. Welcome to the Jackie Smaz Show. Good evening, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, finicky toddlers. Here at the Graveyard Shift, we like to uh, keep things a little loose. And my production manager informs me that a large demographic of my audience turn out to be conspiracy theory nuts. Oh, what? what's that? Um, listeners, I'm being informed that the term nuts is not PC. Um, aficionados is what my production manager is screaming into my earpiece right now. A conspiracy theory aficionados it is. So, tonight we have a full show for you. Uh, full of experts. <laughs> I'm sorry, it, just experts. Um, moving on. Uh, we will be back after this short commercial break with Amazon Kindle author James Lawton, publisher of no less than 42 works on the subject of Does Canada Actually Exist? We'll be right back. Hey there, this is Bobby Joe. Creator of the brand new cleaning product, OxyContin Clean. Do not be fooled by competitors or other ripoffs. OxyContin Clean is the most perfect cleaning solution for all of your household needs. Our secret? Over 50 tabs of high quality OxyContin in each container of OxyContin Clean. Our company has recently defeated all erroneous charges by both the Food and Drug Administration and the Drug Enforcement Agency, and we are prepared to stand by our awesome product. Order now and you will receive not one, not two, but three containers of OxyContin Clean for the low, low price of $9.99.99. Order yours today. And we are back, dear listeners. Author James Lawton is here in the booth with us, and, um, Mr. Lawton, could you tell me, um, what your theory entails? Well, first of all, Jackie, I, I want to thank you very much for having me on the show. I know, uh, my theories are very controversial, and uh, I'm glad I have the opportunity to explain myself. I have your latest book here. Uh, on my Kindle, um, does Canada exist? Question mark. Uh, well, sir, in your opinion, does Canada exist? Oh boy, Jackie, uh, that, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Um, through my research, obviously, obviously, I, uh, I believe the continent, the land mass, uh, that we know as Canada exists, that's, that's not what my research is about. So you do believe Canada exists? Well, well, uh, no. the The situation is actually more complicated than that. You see, I I believe when you look at a map and you see what what is Canada, what we what we have come to know is Canada, uh, actually is North North America, and that the uh, the society of Canada, the uh, the entire infrastructure of Canada itself, is an illusion. An illusion, you say. Yes, yes, a, a very elaborate, very, very large-scale illusion dating back to the War of 1812, in fact. Canada, I believe, and uh, I have documentation that supports this, I believe Canada is a result of America's desperate efforts to stave off the British invasion. I believe we created Canada as an illusion to uh, provide the British some form of victory in the War of 1812. And, uh... What, uh, what is your proof? Well, there are various documents from the time period, but, um, but the strongest evidence has actually come about recently with the, uh, with the surgence of, uh, Canadian actor Ryan Reynolds' career. Ryan Reynolds? The, uh, the actor that played Deadpool? Exactly, Jackie, exactly. That's my entire problem with the, uh, the premise of this so-called Canadian actor Ryan Reynolds. Uh, look look at the uh, the history of his career. He started out uh, uh, as the 
funny guy on Two Guys, a Girl, and a Pizza Place. Then he uh, is in several superhero movies that completely flop and indeed turn into laughing stocks for their entire franchises. Did you see Green Lantern? I mean, my God, what were they thinking? And then, then, years later, he gains funding through the same studio that created the travesty of his first Deadpool performance. He gets it filmed in Canada, quote unquote. And all of a sudden, it is a box office sensation. And this person, who by all rights should have a dwindling career in Hollywood, is now a Hollywood A-lister. If that does not speak of some kind of conspiracy related to Canada, uh, I don't know what is. I mean, there's your smoking gun right there. Heavy stuff. Heavy stuff. We will uh, take a short break, listeners, and then we will be ready for our next guest. This summer, join the people for the ethical treatment of animals as they present a cappella in the park. Famous Queen cover band Lip Service will sing a selection of carefully orchestrated melodies in honor of Queen, showcasing the people for ethical treatment of animals motto. Who wants to wear sweet leather? Who wants to wear sweet leather? When cows must die! Tita's a cappella in the park, followed immediately afterward by the Barbecue National Championships, sponsored by Hormel. Welcome back, listeners. Well, for longtime fans of the show, and uh, maybe if you're just tuning in, I believe you'll recognize this next voice. Our very own Jimmy Mack is in the studio with me. Jimmy, it's a pleasure to have you on uh, this side of the mic. Thanks, Jackie. Uh, for those of you who don't know out there, I uh, do Jackie and most of this uh, radio channel's intros, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh, yeah. Great to have you, J.M. Great to have you. So, um, many people do not know this, who uh, who don't know you personally, but around the water cooler, you actually uh, you actually are pretty up on this uh, this conspiracy theory thing. You are you uh, are you what you would call a true believer, a devotee to uh, conspiracy theories? Well, Jackie, I wouldn't call myself a true believer. Like anything. Conspiracies require moderation in their understanding and study. I most certainly believe that it's important not to take anything at face value and to conduct your own research from reliable resources. Personally, do I believe that many of the more elaborate or outlandish conspiracy theories are hokey baloky? Why, sure. But we do have a history of our government actually lying to us. True and scary, my friend. True and very scary. But I wonder, with uh, your knowledge of these conspiracy theories, and the fact that um, our public sources of information are not always reliable, how does, uh, how does someone like you sleep at night? No, oh, I sleep like a baby, Jackie. I live uh, over two hours away from work in a commute in a very isolated bunker in the middle of the woods, and I have a, uh, a fairly extensive arsenal of firearms that I sleep right next to. Yeah, nothing's gonna sneak up on me. That's what the tripwires are for. And the mines. Food for thought, folks. Food for thought. Well, that wraps up another magical show. Tune in next week for when we discuss what Donald Trump's hair is actually made of. Until next time, stay frosty. <laughs>